In 1904, an American businessman went to the Congo and bought a pygmy man named Ota Benga for a pound of salt and a bolt of cloth so that he could be shown at the St. Louis World's Fair. People gathered around to see the short man with sharpened teeth who had been described as an African cannibal. Ota Benga performed alongside other pygmies, reinforcing the savage stereotype many white Americans had come to believe about primitive peoples. When the fair was over, he was briefly displayed at the American Museum of of natural history before being given to the Bronx Zoo in 1906. He was initially hired as a groundskeeper, but people paid more attention to him than the animals. So by September of that year, they put him in his own exhibit in the monkey house and gave him a bow and arrow to play around with for spectators. For years, Ota Benga planned to return to Africa, but once World War I began, he knew that would be nearly impossible. He died by suicide in March 1916 and was buried in an unmarked grave in Virginia.